Hey guys, One Piece Nation here today to bring you my 2016 anime expectation video. Now, I'm going to be talking about a lot of different things in this video, but let's start off with One Piece. Okay, so, I'm just going to talk about all the things I'm looking forward to this year in One Piece. First of all, the year of Sanji. I am looking forward to this. This sounds awesome. Sanji's an awesome character. I know I talk about him a lot in, like, live stream with BDA and the others. I make jokes a lot. I know I do. But, guys, I'm never serious. Sanji is the third most powerful straw hat. Sanji is the complete boss. I'm never serious when I say those things. And I am very excited for the year of Sanji. And it's just, I'm very hyped. And I cannot wait to get out of these flashbacks in, though. And to get to legitimate present time information on what is going on with Sanji. I am very excited for that. The year of Sanji is just... It, the year of Sanji is hype. But that is not all with One Piece I'm looking forward to. I almost 100% believe that Luffy is going to have a fight with possibly Jack in 2015. I, be, I don't know. Maybe it won't be Jack. But I know Luffy going to fight somebody. I'm looking forward to Luffy's major battle. It's either going to be with Weeble or Jack, most likely, this year. And I am very excited for his fight with that person. But, that is not all. One Piece, Burning Blood. Now, I have an Xbox One. So, and I do not own a PlayStation, and I never have owned one. Meaning, I had never gotten to play a One Piece game, besides for a little bit of Pirate Warriors. Which I could, could only run on a really old Windows that couldn't run the game properly, so I couldn't really play it. So, that was very disappointing, and I am very happy that there's a One Piece game coming to Xbox One with multiplayer. Like, this is like a dream for me, and it's a fighting game, and I cannot wait to, if any of you have Xbox One, fight you guys on it. I'm going to do a walkthrough of it, and I'm going to post it on this channel. It's, just, it's going to be so, so awesome. The game looks amazing, and that game just had me so, so hyped. There's also other things, like we got One Piece Film Gold dropping in the summer. That looked incredible. Incredible. Amazing. It looked incredible. Probably going to be a great movie. Oda is involved, meaning he's not going to let it turn out to be shitty with a great... More great news is that, like, the first canon episode... Of the anime in 2015 in Gear 4. I mean, it's hard to beat that, right? The first canon episode in Gear 4. How can you beat Gear 4 type? You can't. I mean, that episode is going to be amazing. I've been talking to other YouTubers. We had something we may be doing. But I can guarantee you there will be some kind of live reaction out for that episode. It looks amazing. That episode is going to be great. I'm hyped for I'm hyped as hell for it, but there is even more to talk about. Besides just how hyped I am for all the different stuff in One Piece. I'll talk about One Piece some more later on in the video. But now I want to talk about Naruto. Okay? Naruto. I don't talk about Naruto a lot on my channel. That's because I my my plan was I would talk about Naruto in the anime end. I would review the episode, give my thoughts on it. And then I'd be able to talk about it as it ended, that I'd be able to know the whole thing was totally over. So I just waited for the anime to be over so I could do like what if videos and discussions and a ton of different things. And then this news came out a couple of weeks ago. Literally, like, literally actually like a week ago. The Naruto anime is going to be continued in the form of the ma Boruto manga. Kichimoto is not doing it, but I'm very excited for this series. I think it has incredible potential. And I think it's going to be amazing. Now, there's also the fact that we're getting that true Legend of Itachi anime series. That looks amazing. Itachi is a boss. And if the Boruto manga is really exciting because, honestly, at all, Serata is up there with some of my favorite characters in the franchise as a whole. I love Serata as a character. I think he's one of Kichimoto's best written female characters. And I'm very hyped for the Boruto manga. I would go more in depth with what I'm excited for. But there isn't much else to say about it considering, well, it's over. <laughs> 
considering, well, we had no information on it. And the series is over, so we had no idea where it's going to go. But also, in 2016, we are getting Attack on Titan. I mean, how much more hype can you get than Attack on Titan Season 2? I mean, Attack on Titan Season 2, that's going to be awesome. It's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. But, you know, there's not much to talk about on that. I haven't read the manga, so I had no idea what to expect. So, I also want to talk about Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Super. Drag- If you are a Dragon Ball fan, this is the best year for you. More so than it is if you are a One Piece or Naruto fan. This year is going to be amazing for you. There's a lot of Dragon Ball shit happening this year. Dragon Ball will be beginning the Champa arc. With alone, Dragon Ball Super is starting the Champa arc in January. Which is amazing. Even more so, we'll be getting a new Dragon Ball game. Because every single year, by contract law, Bandai Namco had to come out with a Dragon Ball game. Also, we'll be getting the Frieza Saga of the manga in full color in Viz Media Translation. Then, even more so, we will be getting, in Japan at least, they are getting the boyhood arc of Dragon Ball in full color translated. Hopefully, this media will bring that over to the States and translate it. We are also getting, let me think, we'll also hopefully be getting the English dub for Super, which will be amazing. I mean, there is so much to look forward to, there really is. There, there is so much to look forward to with Dragon Ball this year. But, what, but, I, I now I'm going to talk about the other thing I'm excited for. I'm very, very excited. Very excited for a lot of these, for, uh, One Piece. I really am. I'm very excited because... I have high hopes for the Luffy vs. Doflamingo fight. I feel like it's going to be really good looking. Burning Blood looks amazing. It just, there are so many things in 2016 that look worth, that make it look like a good, going to be a good year. I mean, tw 2015 had been a great year for me. Alright, I started a YouTube channel in August, and I'm already at 112 or 13 subs. Subscriber. That is a big deal load, alright? But, even better, guys. Even better. Now we're get Last year, Naruto, you know, had like the Boruto movie. It had Gaiden. All of the, all of that was awesome. Naruto, you know what else Naruto had that made it even more awesome? It had, um, just, it had all the video games. It had everything. It, and Naruto had a lot of awesome stuff last year. We had, we had, last year we had Dragon Ball Xenoverse dropped. I spent literally like five months playing Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Amazing game, guys. Worth buying, worth playing. Amazing game. That was five months of greatness. We had Resurrection of F come out in Jap. Resurrection of F come out. And then, even more, we had, at April, I think it was on the 28th of April, Dragon Ball Super was announced, which is, as an anime fan, it's one of the best days I've ever had. I was ever been that happy. We had, we had, a, we, had a, we had so many great One Piece chapters. We had some amazing One Piece chapters. Just, just look back, alright, at my One Piece video where I do the top five moments of 2015. And just amazing moments. I could name so many more. Well, not off the top of my head. Those were my favorite. But I, if I really thought about it, I could name a lot more great One Piece moments. We already had the first 26th episode of Dragon Ball Super. We had One Punch Man. I have not caught up and finished it yet. But it is amazing for what I had seen so far. And then first, we had that new Digimon series be announced. And, you know, first, like, shown the first four episodes of that. I mean, we had Sabo return in the anime. I'm pretty sure that happened in, in 2015. We had Sabo return. I mean, 2015 was an amazing year. But just the things that are up and coming in 2015. Luffy is going to be taking on Yoko's now. The, the time, the days of taking on Warlords are over. 
Luffy then taking on Yonko now. I mean, Naruto is returning in the form of the Boruto manga. I, which is amazing news. Dragon Ball Super is getting, is getting into new content. And me and a lot of my friends are just moving up and uh, getting in more studs on YouTube. And the more stuff we have being the more awesome people we can interact with. I mean, this is just amazing news. It's been a great year. And, you know, I have a lot of other expectations for other things. Like, there's also a lot of other things in 2016. Just like, the Deadpool movie. The Deadpool movie. That's gonna be amazing. There's, there's so many other things. But it's just... 2016 as a year is going to be a great year. And guys, I know I've just really been rambling, but I really wanted to give, talk about the things I was looking forward to in 2015. And just say that, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And guys, I hope you had a great 2015. Happy 2015, guys.